<clears throat> G'day guys, Luke Top Secret here, and I graduated officially. So guys, this video is pretty much a personal message to everyone who went to my school and graduated with me because it was a pretty, it was a fantastic night. I feel like I got to know a lot of you guys towards the end of my school life, of the school life, and I really hate to say goodbye to pretty much all of you. Even though I will see a lot of you guys every now and again and stuff like that, it's still... It's still a pretty upsetting time that the fact is you won't see everyone every single day and if you guys know me very well um, I hate saying goodbyes I think it's probably one of the most saddest things you can do is having to say goodbye to someone they don't even have to be going forever they could just be going for just a month or something it's still it's not an easy thing to do, and I absolutely hate saying goodbye, but if you're gonna have to say goodbye, at least give them something to work with, and one message I have to give to everyone is that if you have big dreams, you want to accomplish something, for me it was being a YouTuber, is that don't take hate to heart, but use the hate as fuel to keep you going because you want to prove to those haters that you can accomplish your goal and when you do it is the best feeling ever back when i started youtube in year seven the amount of hate i got pretty much on day one was crazy people just kept coming up to me calling me oh, calling me loot up secret and just having a go at me because i was the one guy in school who had a YouTube channel and made Nerf videos. It hit me hard when I got all the hate that I got back then because I, I didn't have the same attitude that I had now. I was just a little year seven kid who just felt like making a YouTube channel one day, making Nerf videos on his own. And pretty much when people started hating on my, hating on that at school, I wanted to quit. I wanted to stop YouTube, stop while I still could. But then I realized that that is not what I want. I do not want to live in fear. I want to keep doing what I want to do. And that was making YouTube videos. And I stuck by that. And when people realized that is that they kept telling me I wouldn't even reach 100 subscribers and just kept setting these low borderlines of what I could accomplish. And funny enough, I pretty much conquered them all. People said to me I wouldn't reach 1,000 subscribers. People said to me that I would. A lot of people said that I wouldn't, and when I did, it was the greatest feeling ever. When they said to me, you can't make it 1,000 subscribers, and then they saw my channel, 1,000 subscribers, they felt like complete idiots, and it was a great feeling to be able to accomplish something and prove haters wrong. So that is what I'm trying to get my message across, is that just don't take the hate personally. Some hate could be... Um, you might want to take on board. Some people could say your camera quality is shit. So you might want to invest in getting a better camera or something. And then once that's sorted, they might start liking your channel. You, you never know. And I'm starting... I need a new camera, I know. I'm just using my phone. Yeah. There were a lot of good parts in school too. I had a lot of support from quite a number of people and friends and stuff like that. And some of them don't even, didn't even know that they were helping me out, but simply just saying LTS to me when they walked past, it made me feel like I was actually getting somewhere. It made me feel like my message, my goal was actually happening. I felt like I was making an impact on people's lives just because I was making YouTube videos. And damn it, oh Jesus Christ. Uh, a lot of people, I don't want to really mention any names, but I'm gonna sort of hint to these people who, they would know who they are, but someone who I call school captain all the time, he, um, I got along with him pretty well throughout school. Um, I didn't s speak to him every day, but towards the end of school, it got a whole lot better between us. We, he won the fidget spinner giveaway and 
stuff like that. He gave me some great feedback on what I could do to make this channel better, and I was really grateful for that. And see, I got I got a lot of support from a number of people. People like Benster sixty four, who was in the Nerf Zombie Attack series. It was a great support. Pretty much the only guy in school that I could actually talk to who wanted to be part of the my channel. And then when he was, Triphazon was. And then it sort of died out a little bit. Don't know why, but then it rose right back up once Zombies 3 hit the scene. Pretty much, no zombie attack is what keeps everyone together and they cannot wait to continue. Pretty much that tradition of getting friends of mine together to make a nerfful video about some people trying to save the world from a zombie apocalypse. I have a lot of people who are already telling me they want to be in the fifth one. So pretty much guys, if you went to my school, know me personally, hit me up whenever, just express interest for real that you want to be in Nerf Zombies 5 and I will sort something out. There are a lot of people who already need to be in it, Ben himself. Um, he's a must-have, and there are a few other people who I can't really spoil, who would like to make a comeback, pretty much. So, that will be really exciting, I cannot wait to get together again and make some more Nerf War Zombie Apocalypse videos. So, this is sort of goodbye to many of the people who went to my school, but a lot of you guys pretty much assured me that we won't be going for real, and that I will be seeing quite a lot of them still Especially those in the zombie apocalypse, the zombie videos, them, they are really keen to be in the videos and I cannot wait to do that. But there are a lot of people who, who I will be saying goodbye to and um, it is going to suck. Um, so that was pretty much it. I just really want to thank everyone who had supported me in YouTube, both in and out of school. There were a lot of people who have supported me. And it is a bit hard to see on a subscriber that is a subscriber on a channel that is small like mine. But there is a lot of, there's a great community behind my channel and without them I have no idea where this channel will be. Don't even know if it would still exist or whatever but I am so grateful for the community with that I've had and still have. And I really hope we can still stick together and see what this channel can do and whatever whatever else we can accomplish because that is always cool uh don't don't do it don't do it don't do it I almost fell over um so th thank you guys so much for all the support throughout all these years at school and with the channel and i'm not gonna slow down anytime soon so, um, thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.